everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are dressing up my kitchen with some neutral holiday slash winter decor. And we're also gonna be giving my little coffee bar a little hot cocoa makeover. So if you guys have been looking for some more neutral holiday elements to incorporate into your space, just keep on watching. Up until a few days ago, this corner of our kitchen was used as a catch-all space for us and wasn't really being utilized as a part of our kitchen. So I thought it would be really fun for the holidays to turn it into our designated coffee and cocoa bar. I ended up searching for a couple of weeks for a pretty yet affordable brass rail and wasn't having any luck up until I came across these hull tarp, if that's how you pronounce it, these hull tarp rails and matching hooks on Ikea's website. The rail itself was only $11 and then the matching hooks which came in a set of five were $5. So to start us off I cleaned up the counter and just made sure that we had a really clear workspace to work with. Then I took the rail out of the box that I came in and I started to make a few measurements of where I wanted the bar to sit. First I measured about five or so inches into the counter and then from there I measured up to the height that I wanted the bar to actually sit at and where the hardware would need to sit as well against the wall. And then from there I was able to make a mark on where that hardware would sit and then also where the opposite end of the bar would have its hardware sitting. So using the brass screws that came with the package, I was able to attach the hardware and the rod to each other. And then before doing anything else, I ended up using a stud finder to make sure I was going to be able to drill into the two spots that I had marked already. And this is a really helpful tool, especially when you're drilling next to like wires or or if you're not sure if the wall is going to be able to support the weight of what you're wanting to hang up on it. For this project, I ended up having to use an anchor on the left side and then no anchor on the right side since there was a stud there, which was able to give it a little bit more support. As I started to put up the bar and was holding it, I realized it was going to be a little bit tricky doing that and making sure it was level and then also drilling the nails in. So I actually had my husband help me with this part and he held up the bar while I started to drill in the nails and we were able to finish up in just a few more minutes. So moving on to my favorite part in the process, which was the decorating, I quickly cleaned up any mess that was made from drilling the holes into the wall, and then I started opening up the package of the hooks for the rail, and I placed them on there. And then I brought over this Christmas tree that I purchased from Target this year. It doesn't come with lights, but I thought it would be a really fun little touch for this little corner of the kitchen. And of course, it wouldn't be a coffee and cocoa bar without my little espresso machine, so I brought this back in and plugged it in. I also added in a few books with some fun pops of red and green and this fun little cutting board to help me gather all the jars for my cocoa station. I decided to hang up four coffee mugs on the rail and use the middle hook to hang a little frame with a beverage menu that I had made, but we ended up not liking the way that it was laying against the wall, so my husband just used one of the existing hooks on the wall to hang the frame to. days and I'm really loving our hot cocoa bar makeover but I didn't want to leave it at that there's a little stool here that I got at a Goodwill for five dollars a few months ago and I haven't done anything to it there's kind of some stains on it and it's just some really old fabric so I thought just to finish off this makeover, I'm gonna 
add some new fabric to this. So I went to Target, I went to Joann's, I went to several different stores and was having a hard time finding the right fabric for this stool. It was really giving me a hard time. But then I went back to Target and I looked somewhere you wouldn't normally look. So it's these decorative border slub shams and I haven't even taken them out of the packaging yet. I'm going to do that right now and see if it actually fits and is the right sizing for the stool. It's been a very long but fun week of getting to put together our coffee and cocoa bar station together. I'm really excited to be able to start using this with friends and family and guests that we have over all throughout the season and long past it. I mean, I already know my husband and I are going to be using this little coffee and cocoa bar station forever. <laughs> So let me know down below in the comments if you guys already have a coffee or cocoa bar station and if you guys decorated it for the holidays and maybe you don't have one but maybe you guys are planning on creating one now and are inspired to do this. Don't forget to like this video if you guys enjoyed watching. If you aren't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos that I'm posting especially in the next few weeks I'm actually going to be going through our kitchen renovation and that'll be really fun. But my husband and I are ready to turn in for the night though so we're going to put on a movie make some hot cocoa and i hope you guys enjoy watching a little bit of that but i will see you guys in the next one bye